Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and we have two awesome new knives. We have one in this pouch, and then we have the CRKT Symmetry. Now, the CRKT Symmetry is a double detent knife, but it is very cool looking, and I'm actually pretty impressed with it. We have a steel frame here, then we have a, um, an FRN, GFN um, insert or inlay, with micro milling in it that actually offers a tactile feel just a little bit then we have a really cool lanyard pin back here so you can put a lanyard to it but i think it just looks cool sitting out of your pocket nice deep carry clip that also you know the blue and gray and black accents look really cool then we have this awesome flipper tab that's like a mohawk design now you grab the highest part of it and pull down and it breaks the detent and opens up. Now, like I said, this is a double detent knife. And if you look, you can actually see the detents working. There's two of them. So you see the two balls. Now, when I close it, you'll see drop in place. And then when I open it, you can see it engage when I open it up all the way see them drop in place that is holding it open now it's not locking it but it's holding it open now what you can do is you can put pressure on the spine and flip it down it is very fidgety and it has a really cool sound to it very easy very fun to play with and it's very slicey this is a nice thinly ground hollow ground drop point blade it is only 8 cr 13 mov but considering what this knife is made for it's made for light duty tasks light duty cutting so i think it's very appropriate and now because of the way this thing opens and closes you can pinch right here and you could somewhat prevent it from closing not all the way but a little bit now if you are messing around and you you misfire it like that you can also still open it back up because the flipper tab is so big you can open it right back up it is nice and fun to play with and like i said you can also or also you can top flip it so what you can do is you can put your thumb on it and just drag sideways like that and crack it open or you can put your thumb on it and drag straight down this way so you just drag straight down like that and open it up very very cool nice and interesting knife i do think that this um does make sense to an extent because it's a nicely thin hollow ground blade you can get a full grip on it so for basic you know light duty office tasks this thing's gonna work great for what you need to do now it's not gonna be a knife you you know do any hard use with you don't want to pull out a cut since it is a double detent knife but for just regular slicing and cutting purposes this is fantastic and look how tightly packed it is in this handle now let's get to this next one now if you guys are interested in any of the knives from this video um i will try to link them down in the description now i've been on a little bit of a boker kick and here we have a new boker knife now before we get into this i do want to say and i never do this to you guys i never ever do this and i hope you appreciate that but if you do like everyday carry EDC content, I would appreciate if you guys sub to the channel. So hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. If you do like the content, if not, give me a dislike, but let's get back to the knife. So we have an awesome little knife. Now this comes in multiple different versions, by the way. So you can get this in um, a few different options. Now we have a very tiny flipper tab back here that... You don't really want to pull down, but you can. Very, very snappy D2 blade. Nice access to the lock bar. It is on bearing, so it's very drop shutty. And it is a nice little compact, tight little, you know, knife. Now we have a lanyard hole back here, a lanyard pin, and a deep carry clip that is slightly inset with flat screws. So it's going to be... Um, you know, a pretty, a very light duty carry. I mean, you're going to be able to carry this thing without ever knowing it's in your pocket. However, this is pretty grippy. So, you know, you might want to release a little tension off the clip because it might be a little grippy and not out of the pocket. Let's get to this flipper tab. The flipper tab, you can, the way I like to do it is I just put pressure below 
because right there is actually where it locks up. So you see that spot right there? That's actually where it locks up right there. So what I like to do is instead of going like this, I put my finger right underneath there and I push and then I, I, I just push and I pull down. And it's very, very snappy, very easy to deploy. Now, back here is a little sharp in the hand when you push, when you hold it in your palm like that. So what I like to do is I just hold it to the side like this and snap it out and it works great. Now you can take a little bit of sandpaper and knock down those corners very easily. You know, if you have a little bit of sandpaper at home, it, that's a very easy fix, but very compact. Um, I honestly think this is a better knife than the CEO. I think the CEO doesn't even come close to this. Now, one reason why is because this blade is so much better for this handle. It makes so much more sense. It's a lot more thinner, a lot slicier. Um, this whole handle, it's very compact. You see how it fits right in my hand, but yet you have a decent sized knife and it is a locked knife. Then the access to the lock bar very easy to access the lock bar. That is one thing the CEO did not do. And you still have the nice CEO look where it almost looks like a pen in your pocket. And it's super duper snappy. Now I will admit there are a couple little details that I don't like, like this can be a little sharp, but like I said, if you hold a little low and you know, put pressure, it's very easy to snap out without it being sharp. And then the little corners back here. Now, very awesome little knife and it is in D2 steel. So for what this thing is, you know, used for and what you're going to be doing with this, this is this is going to be awesome for anybody in an office setting or, you know, that type of setting where you're just opening packages, opening letters, opening up mail and whatever you need around the office. Now, I have one more knife that I think is a really good option as well. Now, if you look, I like how this knife will sit just like that, nice and upright. So will the symmetry. Then we also have the Boker Kansai. Now, I've shown this on the channel a few times. But I can't help but show it to you guys because it is such an awesome buy. Now, one, it's a double flipper tab. So we got a front flipper and a back flipper that works so, so well. And it is a locking knife. So you do have to disengage it with the lock bar that you do have easy access to. And there are so many different options of this. I like this one so much that I'm thinking about getting the copper version. Um, now there's also another version that's very similar to this, except for it has a blade shape like this. And it's, I forget the name of it, but it's very similar. The one big difference is, is the blade shape is not this blade shape. It's a straight back blade shape, similar to this one. And it doesn't have this lanyard pin. The lanyard is in the handle instead of poking out, but I like the way this thing looks. The clip works so good in and out of the pocket one of the best clips and it looks cool this looks cool sitting outside the pocket and it comes with a lanyard actually attached to it now like i said it comes in lots of different options this is the green micarta version but you can get brass copper uh, carbon fiber wood um, i will link as many of them down below as possible but this such a lightweight knife that the the copper one i you know i want the copper one even though i know it's going to be heavier just because I can do a forced patina on it and I think it'll look really cool. And I, I think this knife is so awesome. It is on ball bearing, so it's incredibly smooth, especially for how light this blade is. Very, very smooth. Now, these liners are steel liners. They're just anodized like a copper look or a brass look, but I think it just looks cool. And for what this knife is intended for, it is super useful, very slicey hollow ground blade. So it's going to be incredibly slicey for whatever you're going to throw at it. And it's so compact and easy to carry. And then just like these knives, you can just lay it right down. <laughs> the blade doesn't even touch. It's really cool how you can just set these knives down like that. Um, because they're so compact, the blade basically hides inside of the handle, which is pretty cool on these knives. And, you know, this one doesn't come in any other options, I don't think. I think only these ones come in other options. But I, you know, will do my best to link what I can down in the description. But you can find these on Blade HQ, this one right here. And then this one I will have linked down in the description with a bunch of other versions of it. Because, like I said, there are so many options available for this one. And 
it's just such a useful knife. So there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.